Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today I will show you guys how to customize the lock screen and the home screen of the new iOS 17. Now we'll show you guys a few tricks for the lock screen, a few for the home screen, which actually are pretty simple and I believe every iOS user can do them and will get a custom setup on their device, which actually looks pretty cool. Now we're starting with one simple thing. Now this is an app that you can use, it's called Paired Wallpapers and it offers some really really cool wallpapers that will instantly add a, like a really nice and interesting look to your device. Notice the wallpaper that I have on the home screen. On the lock screen I have a different one but these are paired and you can see how cool is that transition from the lock screen to the home screen. It actually looks pretty amazing. So all you have to do is just download the app from the link in the description. You will find here a ton of wallpapers paired wallpapers as you can see right here which give your device a really interesting look now a lot of these will be paid a lot of them will be also free so just go ahead and find the free ones and if you want to pay of course for the paid ones you can do that as well so it really has amazing wallpapers that will change the way your device looks now this right here is one of my favorite tricks when it comes to wallpapers it will give your device a really interesting look and it's pretty simple of course everyone can do that so all you have to do is just find a wallpaper that you like and that you want to use on your device so let's just find one here let's decide a one let's go with this one right here so what i need you to do now is once you have found the wallpaper you want to use 3d touch on that wallpaper and tap on duplicate so you will have now two of the same wallpaper tap on one of them tap the edit button and go here to filters and just go to nowhere here the last one and tap done so now you have a colored wallpaper and a black and white wallpaper now head on to your settings on the settings app go to wallpaper so you will have here the lock screen and the home screen so you tap on customize on the lock screen and add the wallpaper without color and then you tap on customize on home screen and now you add the wallpaper with color once you have done that lock your device and just see the transition here you can see how the same wallpaper will actually start to colorize here of course it gives the effect that it's colorizing it's actually pretty cool you can see right here we're going from a wallpaper which is black and white to a colored wallpaper of course the same wallpaper here and it actually looks really interesting moving on to the home screen of ios 17. on the home screen you can get some pretty cool setups very easily and one of them is this one right here which i have simply created using a wallpaper and widget which is a widget app which actually offers some really cool widgets and it allows us to have these transparent widgets which are pretty amazing now the way this works all you have to do is just install widget of course again you can download it for free from the app store so there's the app all you have to do here to work with these like kind of widgets the transparent ones just on the home screen tab go to the edit mode and take a screenshot of the wallpaper you're using now all you have to do now is go to widget and then go to manage and tap right there set up transparency and just load the wall the screenshot you just took right here and you're good to go now of course on widget here you can explore all kinds of different widgets which will actually make your home screen look pretty sick and you can see right here how cool that is now let me show you guys another thing that you can do on the home screen i will show you how to how you can actually create secret widgets on the home screen of your device so there will be nothing on the home screen but when you swipe there will be widgets so this is how you do that so all you have to do first of all is download a free app which is this one right here that adds widgets to your home screen which actually don't have a name now for this to work again you need to take the same screenshot that you did with widget and load it right here so let's just try this so once you have loaded the screenshot that you took of the last page on your home screen, then all you have to do is just go to your home screen and add these widgets. So right there at the top, I have actually two of these widgets. You can you cannot see that one because of course it will blend in with the wallpaper. You can see this one because we haven't set the position where it is. So we tap on it and then here it's choose position. We have top right and now it's gone. Now, what I would like to do here is add other widgets to these ones and create stacks. So let's just do that. So here we have added some widgets and we have created a couple of stacks here. But what we can do is swipe like this on the stack. And as you can see, 
it will go to the blank widgets and just hide everything on the screen. So once we need the widgets, we can just swipe like this and reveal them or just swipe up like this again and hide them on the home screen. Now, as you can see right here on the home screen, you will notice another thing. We don't have a background at the dock right here. Now, this is very easy to do. You can do this using a free app and it will work with every wallpaper that you want to use. So the app is right here. This is the app is called Dockland and all you need to do is open the app, choose the first option right here and just load the wallpaper you want to use. Once you have loaded the wallpaper, tap on use right here and you can see it will add this effect to the wallpaper which will make the dock hide. Now you want to save this wallpaper for your home screen. Of course, you don't need this effect for the lock screen. So once you tap on save here, you will have two options to, to save the wallpaper for the lock screen and the home screen. So of course, you can choose the home screen and you're good to go. And once you apply that wallpaper to the home screen of your device, there will be no background to the dock. Another pretty cool thing you can do on iOS 17 is use this app called Quick. This app will add some pretty unique widgets to the home screen of your device. So you go into the app, choose large or medium, whichever ones you want to use, and then tap on add widget and you will have a bunch of like different styles here, different widgets that you can add. This one is actually pretty cool. So you can see you can add apps here and you can just actually move around the icons and when you just found the position you want to place them, you can just set them like that and have that widget on the home screen of your device, which is really awesome. Now you can see how cool this looks. You can just load any picture you want here, maybe your own picture or anything you want. And we have here all the different apps around and these apps actually work. So they are not just there just like to see them. They actually work and you can open any of these apps directly from here. Of course, there is no full customization or a full setup without custom icons. And this is Next Icon, an app that I use to download icons. Of course, you can use other ones if you want to or like icon packs or whatever you want. But this is one, one that I prefer because it's very easy to install and uninstall the icons. And it actually has some pretty cool themes. It doesn't have a really like huge number of themes, but it has some pretty cool ones pretty cool ones that I actually like and actually use sometimes to create like custom setups on my device. So once you have found like a, like a theme that you like here, the way to actually download them to your device is pretty simple. You don't need to do that one by one or just install the icons one by one. All you have to do is just tap here. You can see it shows how many icons that theme has. You tap there and you're good to go. You will have the system apps. You will have third party apps. You tap there and it will actually show you this pop up right here. So we tap on install icons. It will take you to Safari. Tap on allow right there. On your settings, go to the profile, tap install, enter your passcode, and there you go, you can now install that profile, which of course will install these cool icons on your device. So anytime you want to download these icons, you can do that in just a couple of seconds. Now the cool thing is that if you want to remove those, you can actually do that the same way. Just head on to your device, go to settings, general VPN and device management. You will find the same profile here, just tap on remove. And once you have done that, all the icons are gone from the home screen. This is the easiest way you can actually install custom icon packs for a device running iOS 17. So that's basically it for this video, guys. These are some custom setups that you can create and some tricks to customize the lock screen and home screen of your device. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Go ahead and leave a like. You will find all the links that you need right down below in the description of the video. Again, leave a like if you enjoyed the video, subscribe for more, and I'll see you on the next one.